Buckle up, folks, we're about to jump right into some serious wild action. Join us in a thrilling race across the African savanna, chasing down a colossal buffalo. Brace yourself for heart-stopping suspense and adrenaline-pumping excitement. We'll be immersed in the raw wilderness, an intoxicating blend of danger and allure. This isn't just a chase, it's a survival test with surprising ecological insights. So don't go anywhere. Hold on, we're about to dive into the suspense of the chase, a gripping scene not many get a chance to witness. Stick around. Ever pondered how people hunt the large, formidable African buffalo? Let's delve into it. Visualize a colossal creature, its weight comparable to a small vehicle, muscular, extraordinarily sturdy, and adorned with huge curved horns. That's the African buffalo, an organism known for its ferocious nature. Picturing the effort of hunting such a creature can send shivers down your spine. I guarantee it's a feat challenging to accomplish. This buffalo is more than just size and strength, it is known for its intelligence as well. These animals, always found in herds, have an innate ability to band together and shield each other from external threats. As a hunter, it necessitates a profound understanding of the buffalo's behavior and a considerable amount of patience to hunt this beast. It's not dissimilar to playing an intense game of chess, where each move is of utmost importance and any miscalculation miscalculation could result in a catastrophic failure. The African buffalo challenges your hunting skills, pushing them to the extreme. It tests your patience and perseverance, making the hunt an astonishing feat to achieve. The crucial part of hunting this wildebeest is to outsmart it, to its moves, and to strike at the perfect moment. Now let's talk about how hunters manage to outsmart these tough guys. Hunting African buffalo isn't for scaredy cats. It requires a determined and fearless spirit, seasoned by experience and unyielding courage. You have to be intelligent, patient, and display a boldness that doesn't waver even in the face of danger. The ultimate thrill doesn't lie solely in conquering the buffalo. It's the entire journey that truly matters. The strategic planning, understanding the wild beast, and becoming one with the African wilderness, it's all part of the thrill. When discussing the most effective hunting strategies, there are a few that stand out. First and foremost, tracking is a proven method. Experienced hunters can spend countless hours and even days tirelessly trailing the footprints of a herd, persistently pursuing their prey. Evidence like footprints, broken branches, and buffalo droppings, although seemingly simple, are actually crucial pieces of a complex puzzle that leads the hunter closer to their target. This element of the hunt demands extraordinary patience and keen observational skills, traits that only the most seasoned hunting professionals possess. Then, we move on to the art of stalking. This technique requires the hunter to sneak close to the buffalo, remaining undetected. Hunters cleverly use their surroundings to their advantage, camouflaging behind trees and utilizing the terrain to stay hidden. However, this is a task easier said than done. Done. Buffaloes possess an uncanny sense of awareness, and a single misstep can transform a promising hunting expedition into a life-threatening encounter in seconds. Never underestimate the importance of being mindful of the wind direction. Buffaloes have an exceptional sense of smell. If they catch the scent of a human on the wind, they won't hesitate to flee. Therefore, hunters must always remain downwind of the stay concealed, perpetually monitoring the wind and adjusting their position to remain beyond the buffalo's olfactory detection range. Successful hunting requires a deep understanding of buffalo behavior. Recognizing the signs of an agitated buffalo can help hunters evade a sudden charge or a disastrous stampede. Predicting a buffalo's movements, understanding when it will rest or move, can assist hunters in strategizing their approach. Finally, possessing the correct equipment is of utmost importance. A powerful firearm is essential to bring down a buffalo, but it's not just about possessing lethal firepower. The hunter must be comfortable with their weapon, capable of taking an accurate shot when the pressure is on, and the moment of truth arrives. Hunting these formidable creatures is far from a leisurely stroll in the park. It's a risky dance with nature, a challenge of intelligence and courage. But if you're prepared for it, it's an adventure that pushes you beyond your boundaries and lets you experience the wild, untamed heart of Africa up close. Hunters relish the thrill of the chase, particularly when the stakes are as high as when hunting the formidable African buffalo. These aren't your garden variety bovines. They're wild, robust, and incredibly unpredictable when cornered or injured. 
The African buffalo's impressive size, often tipping the scales at the weight of a compact car, contradicts the common image of docile cattle. Their large, curving horns serve as an intimidating testament to their power and their fierce reputation. African buffalo are renowned for their, for their aggressive nature, particularly when wounded. Unlike most prey animals that would instinctively flee danger, African buffalo confront it. They stand steadfast, ready to engage in combat. That's the pivotal moment where the situation can become perilous for picture being deep within the dense, untamed African jungle, closely tracking a buffalo. You've been trailing the beast for hours, poised to take the shot that could end this exhausting pursuit. Unexpectedly, the wind shifts, carrying your scent towards the buffalo, alerting it of the imminent danger. It charges. Suddenly, no longer the predator, but the prey. Your only salvation lies in your firearm and your quick thinking. This isn't some fanciful story concocted for the thrill. Countless hunters have found themselves on the receiving end of a buffalo's rage. There's a noteworthy tale of a seasoned hunter who unexpectedly became the hunted. He was trailing a wounded buffalo, believing it was on the brink of death. Unbeknownst to him, the injured buffalo was biding its time, awaiting his approach. In a sudden, shocking turn of events, the buffalo attacked, catching him off guard. He managed to escape, but not but not without a grotesque, gored leg as a grim memento. Hunting African buffalo is akin to a high-stakes game of tag, where the roles of hunter and hunted can swiftly switch. It's an intense challenge, requiring skill, patience, a keen understanding of the animal's behavior, and a profound respect for the buffaloes. So, what drives hunters to pursue such a dangerous game? For many, it's the exhilarating rush of adrenaline, Others find a profound connection with nature, awakening their primal survival instincts. But regardless of their reasoning, every hunter understands that setting foot in the African wilderness means entering the buffalo's domain. Hunting African buffalo buffalo is more than just attempting to capture prey. It's an intricate and potentially deadly dance with danger. But what happens to the buffalo and their homes when we hunt them? Isn't that a thought-provoking question? When the image of an African buffalo comes to mind, it's natural to visualize to visualize this massive, mighty animal leisurely roaming the vast, sprawling open spaces of Africa. You see them as a symbol of strength, resilience, and the wild, untouched beauty of the African landscape. But have you considered how hunting might disrupt the lives of these majestic creatures and the impact on their natural habitats? When hunting is taken to an extreme, it can severely deplete the population of buffaloes. This situation isn't just detrimental for the buffaloes, but it also significantly affects the ecosystems they inhabit. African buffaloes play a pivotal role in their environments. They contribute to the shaping and transformation of the land by their feeding habits. They distribute vital nutrients around as they move. They form a critical part of the diet for large predators such as lions. Therefore, when the buffalo populations decline due to excessive hunting, it disrupts the ecological-ecological balance and the food chain of their habitats. Predators like lions may be forced to alter their diets and start hunting smaller, often weaker animals, which can also cause a decline in those species. Moreover, without the buffaloes regularly grazing on vegetation, certain plant species could proliferate unchecked, resulting in an imbalance in the plant diversity of the region. But here's a twist in the tale. Hunting, when appropriately regulated and controlled, can actually serve as a protective measure for the buffaloes and their habitats. This might be surprising, but let me explain how. The revenue generated from hunting licenses and fees can be utilized to conserve the buffalo's habitats, conduct more research about the buffaloes, and support the local communities, thereby reducing their dependency on hunting for subsistence. Maintaining a check on hunting can also contribute to a healthy buffalo population by preventing overpopulation which can often lead to the spread of diseases and destruction of their, of their habitats. Striking this delicate balance is a complex task, but achieving it can ensure the longevity of buffaloes and the preservation of their homes. Therefore, it's crucial the broader implications of hunting on the African buffalo and their environment. Not to only focus on the immediate consequences, but also take into account the wider ecological impacts and how modifying hunting regulations can contribute to the, to the overall well-being of the ecosystems. It's obvious that hunting African buffalo changes a lot, not just for the buffaloes, but for the places they live too. Buffalo hunting is a hot topic and folks have a lot to say about it. This issue has been a matter of heated, heated debate, sparking an array of opinions from various quarters. The arguments are multifaceted, 
with ethical, conservation, and cultural viewpoints clashing and mingling in an intricate dance of discourse. Delving into the ethics, there's a significant group of people who believe hunting disrupts the natural balance and of the animal kingdom. These individuals firmly hold that every creature has an irrefutable right to live freely in their native habitat, the constant dread of being hunted down. Their argument is fueled by deep-seated respect and care for animals and their innate right to existence. They see the world world as a sanctuary where all beings should be able to thrive in harmony, away from the ominous shadow of the hunter's gun. However, just as with any other issue, there is an opposing viewpoint. A differing group of individuals argue that hunting, if conducted responsibly following strict guidelines, can play an integral role in species protection. They emphasize on the financial contributions made through hunting permits, which they affirm they affirm can be utilized for conservation efforts. The funds can be effectively used to protect natural habitats, sponsor scientific research, and support local communities living in close quarters with these magnificent creatures. But this line of thought has its share of detractors as well. Critics argue that revenue generated from hunting often fails to reach reach the intended destination. They express their skepticism about the proper utilization of these funds, suggesting that the money either gets lost in bureaucracy or is used as intended. And then there's the cultural perspective. In several cultures across the globe, hunting is deeply rooted in tradition, a symbol a symbol of bravery, skill, and prowess. For these individuals, hunting is not a mere sport, it's a way of life. In an increasingly globalized world, these cultural norms are being scrutinized and questioned. Critics argue that cultural tradition should should not serve as a justification for harming wildlife. Thus, we find ourselves caught in the of a myriad of opinions and fervent debates. The chat about buffalo hunting is complicated. There's no easy right or wrong. One thing remains crystal clear. The decisions we make today will invariably shape the future of the buffalo, and by extension, the health of our world's ecosystems. So, we've had a look at buffalo hunting, the good, the bad, and the ugly. We've delved deep into the heart of the African wilderness and explored the thrilling yet dangerous experience of pursuing one of Africa's most formidable creatures, the African buffalo. Our journey began with a thrilling depiction of the hunt, an adrenaline-fueled adventure that few dare to undertake. The African buffalo, a living embodiment of toughness and strength, serves as a compelling adversary for those who crave a challenge. However, we also highlighted the inherent risks associated with such a pursuit. The thrill of the chase is often countered by the by the potential danger that lurks in every corner. To survive in the wild, a hunter needs to adapt, blend into the backdrop of nature, and predict the buffalo's next move with precision. This is a game of patience, stealth, and deep understanding of the animal's behavior. Next, we delved into the environmental implications of hunting. We discussed how responsible hunting can contribute to the well-being of the ecosystem. By controlling populations, preventing overgrazing and maintaining balance, hunting a crucial role in preserving nature. However, we also drew attention to the potential harm caused by irresponsible hunting practices, such as reducing buffalo populations to unsustainable levels and causing significant environmental damage. Our discussion then turned towards the ethics of hunting. We considered a wide range of perspectives, each adding a new layer of complexity to the issue. The topic of hunting ethics requires thoughtful discourse, open dialogue, and appreciation for varying viewpoints. In conclusion, we emphasize the critical importance of understanding and respecting wildlife. Our survival, and by extension that of our planet, is intimately connected to theirs. We must ensure that these magnificent creatures continue to thrive, maintaining the delicate balance of our ecosystems. The next time you hear about African buffalo hunting, you'll know the lowdown. Remember, there's always more than one side to a story.